Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going through file errors when trying to import media in HitFilm 4 Express. So here I've got a blank project. I'm just going to start importing my media. So I'm just going to click on the import media button. I've now come to my destination um, and I've got my, my file here that I want to import but you'll see that it's not really able to import it and I, try, I can't really click on it um, because it's not the right type of file and HitFilm won't support it. So how do we import our media if HitFilm doesn't recognize the file? Well, see here, it says all supported media and it shows you every single type of media file that is importable and if you can't import it then it's probably not one of these file types. So the first thing we can do to fix this problem is to get an add-on pack. As you can see here, this premium format pack costs $10 and it gives you support for all of these different video formats as well. So if you need this pack then you can buy it here. But there's an easy way to do it in which we don't need to pay $10 uh, to make sure that we can import our media. And that other method is Handbrake. Handbrake is a free open source video converter uh, which you can download from handbrake.fr. I'll put a link to the website in which you can download it at the description. And this software means that you can convert almost any video file into an mp4 file that HitFilm will recognize. So all you have to do is click on the link in the description or go to handbrake.fr and I'm obviously not sponsored by it, it's free, it's open source um, and it's just there, really cool stuff for you to download. So go ahead and download that and once you've done that then we can talk about how we can use it. So we're in Handbrake now and when you start opening Handbrake you already should get a window coming up uh, which allows you to choose your source but if you don't just click on this source button and here you can choose where you want to look at your file uh, that you want to convert. So here I've got my bridge.mkv. I'm just going to click open um, and it'll start scanning it. And once you've done that, you also need to select the destination. So once it's converted the file, you need to select the place where it's going to place the new file. Now you can change all of this stuff if you need to, but all of the stuff that's on here uh, is really just the best possible settings. So you've got MP4, which HitFilm can recognize, and you can change the quality, but the default quality is um, already a very good starting point. So if you if you export it and you decide you need more quality, then you can bump that up, uh, but otherwise I would leave it the same. And all you have to do is click Start. You can just press Start, you'll see it's scanning it, and then it'll start converting it for you. And once it's done, it'll put the final video file in the place that you selected uh, in the destination here. So your handbrake cube is now done and we can go and try and import it again. So back in HitFilm I'm going to hit the import button again and we can see that now we've got our second file which is our MPEG4 movie uh, and it's called bridge.mp4 and HitFilm does support this file so we can click open and now HitFilm will manage to import that and we can just drag it onto our editing timeline and work with it as normal. So we can see it play back, plays back perfectly smoothly, perfectly normally, um, and everything's going fine. So thanks for watching this video guys, I hope this helped out if you had problems importing your media in HitFilm 4 Express. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.